Welcome, in front of me is a Nokia G15 and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So these will be a relatively simple ones uh, for people that might be interested. Now we're going to begin with dark mode which can be found under your display settings. Right over here you'll have uh, as it's called a dark theme but it's basically the same thing when you enable it as you can see it turns on dark mode which extends to default applications as well like messenger or messages dialer and so on additionally in there you'll find a little bit of a deeper settings if you click on it which allows you to simply set it up as a schedule so this will turn on and off dark mode at basically scheduled intervals so what this will virtually allow you to do is for instance have light mode during the daytime and dark mode during the nighttime giving you basically best of both worlds because let's be honest during nighttime you don't want to be blasted with uh, pure white light and during the daytime dark mode is a little bit harder to see especially on a display like this with which isn't necessarily the best one out there or the brightest so anyway moving on to the next one I'm going to go to the split screen option which you can access basically on any application by going into the recent and tapping on the icon of it and selecting split screen and there you go so from here you can select any other application that you want to split screen that is in your recent uh, applications or you can simply swipe to go home and choose another application from basically your list and there we go you can also resize it if you want to now, best, best case scenario for this would be having something like YouTube on top. This will simply allow you to play music while, for instance, browse, browse the web. And even when you swipe up to go home, as you can see, this would stay open. Uh, so that means that if YouTube was open at the top, it would continue to play whatever was turned on in there. Anyway, moving on to the next option, it's going to be the uh, navigation. The system navigation precisely by default the device comes with gesture navigation uh, which personally i do prefer it but i know there's other people that rather have their typical buttons at the bottom and to get those back all you need to do is navigate back into your settings from here scroll all the way down to system gestures and system navigation where you will find the three button navigation and as you can see you just got it back but because I prefer the gestures, I'm gonna switch back to them. Moving on to the next option, it is the white balance. Now this is uh, just a little bit of a novelty for people that, for instance, uh, as an example, read books on their phone. This might give you a little bit of a more pleasant look to, to that because you can set up any kind of white background. Let me just actually turn on, turn off the, there we go dark mode because this will give you a better understanding of how it will affect it so additionally again it's under the display white balance and right here you have a choice between cold and warm it's somewhere in the middle but as an example if you start to slide it towards the warm it will start changing the temperature to a little bit of a more kind of like yellowish kind of paper like look and obviously if you go to the cold it will be bluish so to be perfectly honest, the difference on the camera that I'm seeing is not as severe as it is on the display itself. On the camera it looks, for instance like right here, this barely looks like it changes much while for me this changes quite drastic. So just keep that in mind. But obviously there is a difference and some people might prefer it a little bit warmer which gives the image a little bit more of a toned down feel to it and not as harsh to the eye as well. Now, anyway, moving on to the last option which I wanted to show, it is the removal of animation. So anything that you do is basically animated. As you can see, swiping away, uh, opening application, they zoom in, out, uh, slide away, do this kind of animation that you just seen. So if you want to remove animations just so you can access applications quicker, uh, or maybe you just don't like the stuttering look of them because the phone is quite slow, what you can do is simply remove them by going into your accessibility scroll down and you will have a remove animation and now whatever you will do will basically be without any kind of animations as you can see although this was for for some reason this is still animated but majority of them as you just seen were removed 
Now, anyway, this will conclude that week's entries that I want to share with you. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.